In this video, I'm going to show you how to edit color infrared photos using Capture One Pro. At the end of the video, I'll show you a time-saving trick. I'm using Capture One Pro version 20. The Pro version of Capture One is required as the Express version doesn't offer the tools required. Let's get started. First thing I'm going to do is click on the color panel. This will bring up the color tools that I need. And from here, I can find white balance. So I will select the white balance picker, and then I'm going to click on the clouds. I want my clouds to remain white. This will make the sky yellow and the foliage blue. The next thing that I want to do is swap my colors. So I'll do that in the color editor. Here I will also pick the color picker, and let's start with the sky. So I'm going to pick a patch of yellow in the sky, and this will show a, a wedge in the color pie, and this will identify the portions of the color spectrum that I'm going to be modifying. So before I modify anything, I want to widen out this wedge all the way to the edge, and then we'll widen out the sides a little bit. I want to make sure that, that I get a good broad spectrum of the colors that I'm capturing, and if, if in the picker you... Uh, you could also drag down to the center as well. So now I'm going to take the hue slider and shift all the way to the right. That will give me 30 degrees of hue uh, of the 360 degrees, but I want to do 180, so I'm going to need to do this five more times. So using the color picker again, I can again pick the sky and resize the range that's going to be impacted and then slide the hue. And a third time. Number five, and we're, you can see we're getting pretty close to blue, and number six. So if I drag this all the way to 30, in this case, the sky is starting to head a little bit into um, some of these uh, magenta tones. So maybe I want to notch this back um, a little bit or leave it at 30. The choice is yours. Okay, so now I've swapped the sky color. Now I want to address the foliage. And it's the exact same process. So let's pick on a spot of the foliage. I'll select this blue. You can see we now get the other end of the spectrum. And we're going to repeat the same process. We want to widen out the, the selection of which colors are being impacted. And then drag the hue all the way to the right. And you can see the colors will start to change here. And we will repeat this process uh, five more times as well to get that 180 degrees. Now, you can also um, stop at any time if you see um, a color selection that you like. You're not obliged to go 180 degrees you can uh, use any color you like, but for the sake of this demonstration, we'll, we'll repeat this process a total of six times so we can see the, the full process. Okay, if I look down here into this section, you can see that I have one, two, three, four, five, so I will do one more. All right, there we go. So now we have our colors inverted. And like I said, you could stop any time with any color or uh, you could use one of these and you know ease back the, the color a little bit or make minor tweaks if you'd like to as well. So that's the basics of how you will do your color swap in Capture One. Now, that's a very time consuming process. So let's talk about a, a trick to save a little bit of time. Here under the color editor are a list of presets. And if I click here, I can, I can see existing presets that are available, and I have an option to save a user preset. So what I'm going to do is save a user preset, and you can see here that it will save from the Color Editor Advanced, which is the panel that I'm using, and I can hit Save. And now I have an opportunity to name this preset. So I'm going to call this the uh, Infrared. And we'll save that. So now that preset is available, if I look under uh, the the tools, it's right at the top of the list. So that's really nice. So let's go over to some other images. And if I pick a different image here, zoom out. And uh, 
first thing I want to do with a second image is just use the white balance tool, grab a white balance, and then I can go to the color editor, select the infrared preset. All of those adjustments are made. I don't need to do them individually and I can also tweak them so I could grab a single one and I could start adjusting the hue if I wanted to change the color of the, of the, of the foliage or I could grab uh, the yellows if I wanted to change the color of the sky and that's very easy to do or if I wanted to even increase the saturation of either of those I could start to do that as well so I can make individual adjustments and then I can go through a number of photos that I have and all of them uh, very quickly I can select a white balance and then apply the preset the other thing that's nice is I can also change the white balance. So let's say in this image, uh, this is a little more blue than I'd like. I could um, go back to the white balance picker and experiment with different uh, white balances and try to find one uh, that is more my liking. So lots of flexibility there. And we can just continue to use this preset, uh, new images, and then, uh, oop, got a set of white balance for this one. There we go. Set a white balance and apply the preset. So there we go. That is how to edit infrared photos using Capture One Pro. Hope you enjoyed. Thanks.